We're going to call this meeting to order. Okay. Do we have to make a motion to call the meeting to order? I think it would be better if we move a little bit closer to the mic so Amy doesn't have to strain to hear us. Mm -hmm. um, I should ask. I should ask also, Amy. Do you have a microphone yourself? Because we can unmute you if you want to, or you can just keep typing in the ch in the questions there. Okay, she says no. She's pretty hoarse, anyways. Okay, that's fine. Just was checking. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's she had surgery today, so Amy, that's pretty big of you, even being with us in in this capacity. So thank you. Um, we need someone to approve the uh, make a motion to approve the agenda or the agenda and um, the minutes. I just reviewed the minutes, so I make motion. Yeah. Very good. Somebody want a second? I'll second. Okay. I think we're raising our hands back here. I'll make a motion to appreciate you. I'll second. That was crystal. Sorry. Dana second. Okay. And the minutes. We'd have done that already. Nancy. And and Connie. Very good. Okay. And it says that uh, thanks, no, and I'm pretty far to go all just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that is. No, no, she said, that's her asking. She said, who was that? So I don't know. I don't think anybody here is typing. I think she was listening. You know what? I said, I don't think they are. She approved the agenda. Dana seconded. Nancy made the motion to approve the minutes. Connie seconded. Yeah, it would be nice if she was on a microphone, but she's hoarse. Got it. Mm -hmm. okay. Great. Very good. <laughs> very good. Okay. Officer reports. Um, thank you to all of the attendees and the coordinators. This is a terrific team of women. I wish I could say people. I wish there was a guy or two on our committee, but that's okay. Uh, uh, we've got an awesome group of women who are very supportive of one another, and we're, together we know how to get things done. So um, that's really great. And um, I would like to make a plug for anyone that will be listening to this or reading the minutes to uh, seriously consider joining the paraprofessional section. It uh, is a valuable, you'll have opportunities to make valuable contributions to your library or community. And there are 10 good reasons to join. We've got that publicized all over the place. Um, plus, we're fun. And I'm, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Nancy Black, and she'll give us a little recap on what's going on on her plate. Um, right now, as Vice Chair, what I've been working on is our paraprofessional section programs for fall conference. Um, we received word from Erica Rose out in Colorado that her schedule permits her to come and do a pre-conference presentation for us on Wednesday during fall conference in October. Um, the fee will be $300, so we are going to see if we can find another section to put the cost of that and go sponsor the pre-conference session with us. Uh, Kelly Olson will be coming from Keene to do a session on Tech at Your Library and setting up a patron computer classes um, with a lesson plan that he used at Keene. And Dr. Rebecca Pasco from UNO is putting together a panel of other library educators uh, to talk about the importance of education in today's library science. Um, we also have Sally Snyder who will do 
either, I, I know for sure two, and I think maybe three presentations. So, and we are, I, I, thought, I thought that we had touched on the topic of not sharing the expenses with another section. We could afford to. Okay, so we are just going to sponsor it ourselves. Yeah, we, we can, we can well, confirm that, but that's what I thought we would take Okay. Ourselves. Okay. okay, maybe that was back when we thought we were going to have to, when we were concerned about hotel and stuff. But she said, no, I've got a friend to stay with, I've got, so all she needed was $300 travel. So, okay, so it's strictly prepare a section that we'll do a pre-conference session this year. Um, now that's, I'm counting four presentations that we just talked about. Erica Rose, oh no, that's a special presentation. That's a pre-conference. That's a pre-conference. <laughs> so three, Kelly Olson, Dr. Castle, and Sally Snyder. Right. Yeah. Did we decide three or four presentations? Which yes. Would be enough? Right. So we're set. So we're set. So this deadline for proposals is April 30th. is sort of moved because we're done. Okay. But, but what, do we have to submit something to the NLA then so they know what we're proposing? Where do we get those? They're on the website. That's, that's not part of the line. I, 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 I did not get anything. So is that the April 30th deadline where I need to get what our your presenters need to submit a proposal as a formality? And as a courtesy, what I would do is go ahead and fill it out, especially for somebody like Erica Rose. Send it to her. It's already almost filled out. She wants They've to all it. been asking, where are the proposal forms? Well, and I'm like, nobody has taught you where the I will, I will find you a proposal form and get it to you. Okay. And then I will get it to them. Right. Okay. And, we'll, and I will do that. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be no problem because they've all already been asking about it. So once I get it and I can shoot it to them in an email, April 30th deadline is not an issue. Okay. We will have those in. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, the only other thing that I would like to mention is one of the next NLA board meetings that you go to. April 11th. And that one is in Columbus. <coughs> I think it's in Columbus. Um, I would like to attend with you. Just so that come next fall, I kind of have an idea of what's okay. going to happen when I take over your yes. place. That would be good. <laughs> so, and my thought, I know it's in Columbus because my thought was I could go up to Skyler the night before and spend the night with my daughter and my family. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and then meet you in Columbus the next quarter. That sounds great. That'd okay. Be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. I think you are invited to the June one. Whoever's excuse me, whoever's talking right now, we can't hear them. Um, we were having a discussion about okay. Lindsay accompanying me to the April 11th NLA meeting, and Crystal followed up with the NLA board has a special meeting during the summer where the vice chairs of the sections are invited. So Nancy will likely go to both sessions, both the April 11th NLA meeting, as well as the one held over the summer. How's that? Cool, thanks. And Amy is not up to talking, so we're going to cut her some slack today. Writing you a message? Yeah, nothing yet. Is that all right with you, Amy? You can say yes or no on the little chat box. Our current balance is seven hundred and forty nine dollars and two cents. That's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a terrible person when it comes to looking at the budget and the agent. So <laughs> and I know it's still here. 
Cynthia, Cynthia, I this, didn't I? Yes. Cynthia, we cannot yes. hear you out here. I am sitting right by the microphone. Okay, no, not you, but the other people that are talking. Like when Connie was talking and Dana was just talking, we can't hear them. How far do we need to back up? Oh, um, Connie's is fine. It's just really, really low. But you guys were talking to Dana about Facebook and pictures, but we didn't get that. Just what Dana was talking okay. about. Uh, Dana expressed uh, pleasure with an interest in wanting a little more guidance in her role as the Archives and Publicity Chair. And we were just reassuring her that what she's doing is fine almost above and beyond the call of duty. She rocks on Facebook. Mm. And anything else you want to add to that? No. Okay. And there's and that was really nice of you to offer to do something else as far as bringing cookies or whatever you brought here today. So it was off at one cookies. Sorry, Amy. Okay, that's it. This game is my address. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. I, I, I'm here, and I really don't have anything to report for the um, bylaws newsletter web at this time. Okay. I have a question. Got a question for you, Janet. Okay. I got, uh, I got on the evaluation <coughs> that wants to join the parasite. Where can I find the form, or what can I send to her to, you know, so she can get the scholarship and stuff like that? Okay, first of all, you're a member of NLA, right? I think she is. Okay, then she's already in a section or a round table at this point in time, so you need to determine which one that is. Okay. And then, if she's already in one, 
then what you do is you have to add a second section onto your NLA um, registration. Now you can go back and email the NLA executive director, Michael Stratman, and let him know that this person wants to be added to another section, and I believe it is uh, $5 for each additional section that you want to be a part of. Okay. But that's, uh, if you go to the... Not. She might not have marked to join a section when she joined NLA. I have several friends who didn't know anything about the section, and so they are NLA members, but they do not belong to a section even though it's free for the first one. They then he will then Michael will put them in a section and inform them of what section they're in. Because you have to be in a section to be a member of NLA. So if they didn't mark it on their register when they um, signed up to be an NLA member, Michael probably put them in the public and uh, public library and trustee section because that's the that's kind of the default section. And they can look on NLA and their they can look to see and you could also look to see what section they are attached to um, in member clicks. What's her name? You know, I think I, I have one to look because I know I looked everybody. Let me see if I can find what her name is. It's uh, Shannon. Shannon. And also, I need Amy. Repeat you two. Amy just uh, posted that I think it might be more than that. I think it's a percentage, but we'll have to look it up. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what she's talking about. Sure. Um, yeah, this is Krista at the Library Commission. I just looked up the, the uh, membership form to see what it is now. They did change it a little bit. For round tables, it's $5 extra, but for sections like paraprofessionals, it's 25% of whatever the basic dues you paid. So depending if you signed up as a student or retiree, based on your salary, it would be 25% of whatever that is as the cost. Yeah, she's uh, the skip in the new member round table. So, yeah, she's in two sessions already, but she really wants to become a parent member, so that's great. We have to figure out, figure out a way to do scholarship. Do we do scholarship for membership? We don't do scholar. We haven't advertised that this year to do scholarships for memberships. Well, thank you. But <laughs> I mean, that, that should be a way that we're making money for our section. If we're giving away money for people to be a member, how are we ever going to have money to pay for the well, stuff we need to pay for? Well, it's to increase our, our membership. It's like no. so many things that we're not making a profit. We're not a profit making organization. Right, I understand, but we still have expenses. We still have yeah. to get it. And it's membership dues, yeah. yeah, membership dues is one of the ways that we make money. I mean, scholarships like to go to, go, well, to, go to attend meetings, like to come to attend here. That's but I don't think we should be giving away scholarships. Well, to, to make well, them join us. Well, right. Well, 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 if the organization does not pay for their fees, and if they're a little bit strapped, we are. Okay. A discount. Yeah. Now, we all are expected to help to raise the Rather than have them not be a member because they can't afford it, right? Uh, we'd rather help them out a little bit than a member. So that's that's sort of their application. Okay. So it's not the full. Of We're not just it's really really giving money away. Okay. Oh yeah, because Amy just said that more than five dollars. I mean, thanks, Krista. Wouldn't this fall under our stimulus funds? Yes. Yes. Are you not doing? Yes. Thank you, Amy. <laughs>
Um, right now, we have we have two positions that will be open in the fall. We have our um, secretary treasurer, which uh, Amy Owen is um, running again. Thank you. And we have um, Bailey Halper from Ralston, who is also going to run for that position. And then we have our vice chair of Terry Lick position, which right now we have one candidate, Christine Woods from Bellevue Public, who I spoke with her. She's excited to run, but I do need one more name to put on the ballot. So I, you, some of you may have heard from me, and I will continue to be persistent to get another name. So um, if you are interested, this is a great committee, um, great way to meet people and network. So please send me um, your name if you're interested. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Crystal. And you can find websites, you can find Crystal's, excuse me, I said website. You can find Crystal's email address or any one of our email addresses or the, par or the uh, paraprofessional email address on our website. Very easy to find in the LA paraprofessional section. And that will be the first link in a Google search. Crystal, your hard work is very much appreciated. A liaison. Um, um, that would be me. And yeah, I do plan on attending the April 11th board meeting, the NLA board meeting. Um, I did get a call from an email from both Lindsay Hamsu and Martha Resenbaum about submitting an article. So I do plan on uh, doing at least one brief article so the, the parent professional section can be represented in the next issue of Nebraska Libraries. And the pair of bookmarks, uh, that's a responsibility I took on last year. Um, and the project got shelved because the files were on computer of mine that was stolen. So we've been getting by with flyers. I noticed the flyers I brought today need to have our website on there. I forgot to put the website on there. Nobody, none of us caught it. So we're doing flyers in lieu of bookmarks currently. And that's all I have. Um, old business, of course, we're always we always have increasing memberships on on the table. Um, I think considering that this is a general meeting and we do want to keep brief today, we're going to reserve further discussion on in increasing memberships. Unless anybody here has anything to add today, we will save that discussion for our next executive board meeting. Is that all right with everybody? So I see a couple of heads nodding. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> New business. Um, actually, we scheduled our our next meeting for for 2:30 p.m. We did this at our last executive board meeting. Um, our pair of officers is scheduled for 2:30 p.m. on Friday, April 18th. <laughs> So mark your calendars, and that's over at Miller, right? And that's at Miller Branch, yes. And 3 o'clock. Here we go back to 2 o'clock. 2 30. 2 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I had two I think that's what we did. I changed it to a 3. So I think we went back and forth and compromised it on 2 30. Uh, okay. And Sarah, it's nice to have you here. By the way, we have a we have a guest, Sarah um, Nelson, who is a library specialist currently working at the South Branch of the Omaha Public Library. Excuse me, the Washington Branch of the Omaha Public Library. Thank you. And she is also, she's a busy lady. She works over 40 hours a week. She's in teen services um, at Ralston Public Library. 
Are you interested in joining our membership? Yes. I mean, for joining the uh, board? Oh, in, in the capacity? <laughs> well, this is what we do. Yeah, yeah this is what we do. We hang out, we talk. Uh, yeah. Okay, we have, we have another interested person here. Great, thank you, Sarah. We're nominating person. Well, that's what I've been doing since last fall. It, it's really um, start thinking now of people that you know in the library profession that will get up and do presentations. And it's going to be all help, too. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and everybody else helps, too. So it was a remarkably supportive group. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's yeah. left. Think of some of your professors <laughs> when you were in school. Anyway, because that's how I got Dr. Pascal. She'll be a fellow in my brain. So. And Erica yeah. Rose. Yeah. Okay. So okay. just think of some of them. And that's the hardest thing, is getting hold of these people. They don't want to do a presentation, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, so far, that's been the hardest thing. Oh, okay. And finding people to run. Yeah. 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 Well, part of the beach, right? Yeah. And Nancy has a kind of personality thought, oh, it would be a lot easier for her to do something like that than, than some people. But anyway, um, so we if have you to get up in front of teens. You can get adults to come and present. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell this girl has gone. Okay. Other does anyone have any other issues they'd like to bring up on our new business <coughs> for today? This is gonna be a short, sweet meeting. Uh, I, I, I do rely an awful lot on Crystal and Jen and I lean on them a lot. I'm gonna do it again. Crystal. <laughs> Covered everything that needs to be covered. Yeah. Okay. Then the meeting is adjourned. <laughs> 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 <laughs>